morning, Joe Justice here coming to you live on July 14th, 2023. We are almost halfway through July. Can you believe it? This summer is flying by. I tell you what, it felt to me like uh, summer took forever to get here. Winter seems like it was here forever. And then it's like we didn't have a spring at all. And then boom, we're in the middle of summer. It is crazy. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I hope that you're staying on top of all your health and fitness goals. Hope that you're being a great example for your kids and helping them to reach their goals, setting high expectations for them because like I talked about earlier this week, we're talking about health esteem and that's about more than simply accepting yourself and it's also about more than beating yourself up and comparing yourself to impossible standards. Health esteem is all about both uh, encouraging yourself forward, but accepting yourself where you are and continuing to move forward. And I hope that you've had the opportunity to do that. If you ever need a little bit of help with your health and fitness, if you're looking for some goals, if you're looking for a little accountability, you can join me, join our group. We do uh, we do lots of cool stuff. And you know, I wanna encourage you to be part of it. Send me a message, shoot me a comment. Go to homegymhustleheroes.com slash join and you can join our group. I'd be happy to help you out along with your health and fitness journey. What I want to talk about today is something that I think is very interesting because I've been talking about emotions all week this week and how emotions actually drive you and move you forward. And when it comes to dealing with your kids, a lot of people think that they have to have, well, first of all, I'm going to use this word a little incorrectly, but they think they have to have a stoic approach to everything. And the stoics kind of get a bad rap. Uh, because the Stoics kind of have this idea of accepting challenges and, and being not being driven by your emotions, accepting your challenges and, and taking them on, um, you know, with, with the full heart and full vigor. In other words, not whining about it, not complaining about it, just get on with it. And that's kind of live, uh, come to this kind of um, approach today where people refer to people as Stoic when they don't show emotion. They don't show empathy. They don't show, they, you know, when somebody says he's very stoic, you think of someone like setting up straight and with a stiff face and stone-like and I don't care about what you want. I want you to do what I say. Like that's, so you have this kind of image of the stoic like that. And that's not what stoicism is. And that's not the stoic approach. But that's the way we feel a lot of times when we talk about dealing with our kids or dealing with their with our spouses, dealing with other people, co-workers, people that uh, that you want to help out. You kind of have this kind of modern concept of being stoic, of not being emotional. You know, you don't want to bleed on people. You don't want to, uh, you know, you want to make it, you know, it, it, you want to kind of inspire them by being proud and noble and forthright and all that kind of stuff. The problem with that is, especially when it comes to your kids, is they can't relate to it. And I find myself in that in that boat with um, when it comes to like the health and the fitness stuff. Whenever I talk to people, whenever people see me, they see where I am today, what I've accomplished. They see you know how healthy I am. They see you know how much weight I've lost or whatever. If they haven't seen me in a few years, they're like, "Wow, you know, I could never do that." And it's like, you know, you have to be vulnerable in those moments, and you have to tell people. You have to let them know, like, you know, I'm not Superman. I'm not perfect. Um, what we like to do is pretend that we are perfect. Is is we we think that that'll actually help people. So, oh yes, you can be just like me. But it's not true. If you're emotionally vulnerable, and you let people know your struggles, let people know what you're having uh, a hard time with. Now, with one little caveat, and this is a phrase that I really like. I've heard it several times. Is bleeders aren't leaders. So you don't want to bleed on people. What you want to do is uh, let them know. The same thing with your kids, coworkers, friends, family. You want to be vulnerable with them. Being vulnerable with them isn't bleeding on them. Being vulnerable with them is letting them know that you have similar struggles and that you can understand their struggles. So like for me, I like to talk, I'll happily talk about how I struggled with, uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, simple things like late night snacks. That was a big one for me. I was really big after uh, seven o'clock or whatever, when it'd be time to sit down and watch TV in the evening. I had a really hard time uh, not wanting to get a little snack, a little something to eat. I'm not some kind of like stone man that, uh, you know, can't, uh, you know, just shuts off all of those types of things. 
And same thing with the exercise. Um, my biggest challenge, uh, and I always knew this from the very beginning when I started my you know regular daily exercise routine, was the simple fact that I knew I would be really excited about it at first, and I would hit it hard at first. And because I've done it in the past, hit it hard at first, get really excited, and then start to gradually drift off it, right? I've done it, I've done it in the past. I've lost weight in the past and then had it all kind of creep back on. Uh, you know, you and, and it all kind of creeps back on and uh, in a way that one day you just wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened? It's happened to me before. So it was always one thing that I was worried about happening again. So my approach when I was to do really small steps and and to set it in a schedule and to do workout videos so that I started out with 20 and 30 minute videos and I would commit to those and then I knew that if I could commit to those and turn it into a habit, then I could do it. Now, if I came to you and I told you, hey, what you got to do is go to the gym two hours every day and you got to you know, never miss a day and, and show up and work hard and, and you'll do it too. Well, you're going to do that for a little bit and then you're going to fall off you're gonna, and you're going to say, well, I'm, I'm just not cut out for that. I guess I'm just not good enough for that. And so by me not being vulnerable and saying I've struggled with this, I've really had challenges with this in the past. I've fallen back in the old habits in the past. I've, you know, had problems with this and I, I think that I've solved it this time as best as I can, being humble about it. Um, you know, I still struggle with these things. I still have a hard time um, with certain types of foods, especially comfort foods, stuff like that. Being vulnerable, being honest, as opposed to just acting like uh, Superman and, you know, being completely invincible and being uh, the stone man that can do whatever he wants to all the time. It, it will help you and encourage you in, uh, in ways that, um, you know, me being vulnerable will encourage you in ways that me being again, like stoic in the kind of the not accurate modern term, just won't. And same thing with your kids. I, I find this a lot with my son. Um, my oldest son is dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. And he really struggles with certain types of things. Um, and I, I, I see in him the same things that I struggled with when I was in school. So you know, whenever I help him out with his schoolwork, I don't say to him, you know, you need to do this. This needs to be perfect every single time. I tell him stories about how I struggled with things, how there were certain uh, topics that I had a really difficult time with. I tell him stories about how, you know, uh, I would uh, do homework with, with his grandma and how his grandma and I would work together late into the night, and it's not just him. It's uh, you know, I, and let him know that I can relate to him, and he's there's nothing wrong with him. He's not broken. We're all broken, you know, and that gives him that extra kind of um, confidence that he needs, and that confidence being me being vulnerable with him, me being vulnerable with my kids gives them the confidence that th that they need to know that you know it's not them they're not broken they're not there's not something wrong with them the, you know and that gives them the confidence to push themselves forward if if you just show up every day and you just you know slam the table and you pound the table and you say you need to do this right you need to be perfect you need to quit screwing up you need to do the right thing you know it's going to be overwhelming and they're not going to be able to handle it and and it's not going to improve them so the importance of being vulnerable and admitting your faults with your kids. You know, if you struggled with something, you know, as kids get into teenage years, uh, you know, if you struggled with, say, drugs or alcohol or something like that, and you talk to your kids about struggling with drugs and alcohol, it's going to be a lot more impactful than if you just say, I never did it and you never do it either. You know, it's, it's you know, that kind of just say no stuff, which I grew up with. Um, and I don't think it was that effective. I knew a lot of kids that were raised with that just say no stuff that uh, they didn't just say no, right? So I, you know, I really want to encourage you today to be vulnerable. At, same thing with your with your spouse. You know, you're not Superman or Superwoman. You're not invincible. Uh, don't act like you are. Uh, people don't expect you to be, and people can relate to you a lot better if if they know that you know that you're not perfect too. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you got something out of this. If you did, please drop me a comment, send me a message. Feel free to like, share, uh, let, me know, uh, let me know a little feedback. 
And uh, if you need a little help with your health and fitness, be sure to check out Home Gym Hustle Heroes right there in the comments. HomeGymHustleHeroes.com slash join and join our challenge group. And I will see you again next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.